So hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Rich and as always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. So today I wanted to talk to you about virtual tours, using drones for virtual tours, and also doing terrestrial based virtual tour work as well. Now if you've looked at any real estate websites in the recent past, you know that a lot of the realtors now are doing these virtual home tours for higher end homes. Oftentimes, the photographer who's working with them, the service that's working with them, is utilizing something called Matterport. Now, Matterport actually has a really slick camera for doing uh, 360 interiors, and then they have software for displaying those interiors in a virtual tour format. Now, I've been looking around for a while trying to find other tools that could do this because I do know that virtual tours um, are important to a lot of realtors as well as drone photography, aerial video for real estate. It really does help sell. But so if you start investigating virtual tours, you might come up and say to yourself, wow, this is going to get expensive pretty quickly. Uh, are there any other ways around this? And actually, over time, more and more services have developed to help you do virtual tour presentations. Now, I'm going up here on the bar. So here is one item. This is called Memento 360. So you can actually upload your 360 images, your 360 panos, and you can create virtual tours or 360 pano presentations, which is really exciting. And of course, they do offer a service. There is pricing involved, so you can actually check them out. And their prices aren't bad for what you're allowed to do, so that's that's really cool. But I always like to see what can we take in-house and what can we do at Arizona Drone. And what I've found recently, since I build my website with WordPress, um, I have actually found some new tools to, um, to bring these virtual tours to life. And I'm just clicking through some of the AZ Drone, but I'm currently working on doing a new virtual tour demo page, and I'm going to hit refresh, and I'm going to share this one with you. So we're just waiting for that to refresh. And actually, to start off our virtual tour, I do have an aerial view of a home, and you can actually see my helipad down there. On the lower left corner, we have home front from the air, and you can actually see the neighborhood that this home that we're displaying is in. So you can actually get a look around the entire neighborhood, and that's pretty nice. It gives you a feel for the location. Once again, this is all being generated on WordPress. So I have a new plugin that I found, and it's called iPanorama360, and it is a plugin for WordPress. It's a whopping $40, and I'm, I'm being facetious here. That's not bad at all. One-time license fee for something that can generate virtual tours for you. And I can actually now click down into the driveway view. So now we're doing a terrestrial 360. And we've got a couple of buttons here. So we've got a garage entrance and a home entrance. I'm going to go in through the garage entrance. And now we can see the living room area. And we've got three buttons here. So we've got a den and guest room. We've got the front door exit, which we came in. And we've got a laundry and master bed hallway. If I whip around in here, We've also got a blown out kitchen area because I actually did this shot early in the morning when the sun was coming into here. But I'm gonna click onto this one and we'll correct that. Once again, this is just a demo. So now we're getting a look at the kitchen area. There's the living room area. And we've actually got a patio view as well. So there we go, going out onto the patio. And a little bucket is out here for picking up weeds. We've got another button, patio aerial view. So I'm gonna click on that and we can actually see the home from the air a few hundred feet away. And we can see the rest of the neighborhood and the open areas around that home's view. We can click back in there and take a look around. So once again, this is all being generated on my WordPress website. These aren't iframes, this is actually from the, uh, the iPanoramic plugin, which we'll take a look at in just a moment. We've got the side of the home, clicking out to the garage access, so we can see the messy garage. And we can also enter back into that interior hallway and see the master bedroom, the laundry area. We can go into the master bedroom, see that laundry hallway again. We can also zoom around here. So just like any other virtual tours, 
you can click from room to room and you can actually get a look around. Also, you can actually click to expand it to full screen. So people can really get a nice look around. Now, you can do this on your own website. And once again, that's the iPano plugin. Let's go down to the dashboard really quick. And this isn't a tutorial on how to use this particular plugin. But if you'd like a tutorial on this, please let me know and we can do one. So right down here at the bottom, I've got iPanor uh, iPanorama 360. And we did this as the Granville Virtual Home Tour. We can go in and edit this. And so first you need to go out and generate your 360s. And once you've generated your 360s, you can get them in here. And let's take a look. So our first one is home front from the air. So I've made 12 scenes. We have the home front from the air, the front of the home with the three car garage, living room, dining room, kitchen, den and guest room, laundry, master bedroom, master bath, the back patio, the home's west side and garage access, the interior of the three car garage, and the patio from the air. I'm going to click on that one and you'll see right up here and you can actually interact with this to see how this works. So this is pretty darned amazing. So this particular software package I got from Envato.com and it's the first virtual tour plugin that I've tested out. If you have other virtual tour plugins that you'd like to recommend for WordPress or other website builders, be sure to let me know. Also, like I said, Memento 360 is an easy way where it's hosted with Memento 360 and then you can actually uh, get the iframes to plug into your website. So they've got different embed codes and you can plug that into your websites or you can hand the images over to the realtors if your realtor is using something like Matterport or they're using one of the other virtual tour services. You can go ahead and shoot both in the air with your drone and on the ground with a 360 camera and you can provide those 360s for them. I just wanted to also show you, so I'm just pulling up this is what the 360 actually looks like without a viewer. So there's the house in question. I'm just selecting that just to show that to you, but that's the house that we were focusing on. And that was the aerial view that we were focusing on. I'm going to close that one out. And then we've got the house front. So once again, there's the 360. And this 360 was shot with my DJI Mavic 2 Pro. And it was shot with the Mavic's 360 panorama setting under photos. If you'd like to learn a little more about that, let me know about that as well. But in the end, you can now do your own virtual tours on a WordPress website if you're using WordPress. So I'm just going to go back to visit the site once more. And I'm going to be creating a demo page um, for people to check out on the website. But you get to see it first before the final version goes live on my own website. So as you can see, that Arial 360 really does do something here. I think giving people a feel for the overall neighborhood, as well as getting a nice look at the home, well manicured front yard, really nice landscaping. You get into the driveway area and then you can see very, very nice landscaping. You can also see down the road here, but in comparison to that aerial view, that aerial view gives us just so much more seeing that neighborhood and getting a feel for the fact that you do have some decent privacy even in a uh, more closer proximity neighborhood. All right, everyone, so if you have questions on this, if you'd like to see a full tutorial, full demo, let me know and start considering using your drone 360 images as part of virtual tours that you're doing for realtors. You know, this is just one extra step up that might add just that extra little bit to get you in the door uh, with real estate professionals and with working with them on a regular basis. Also, don't forget with all of the uh, construction work that I do, um, we can also do virtual tours of construction sites using the drone and using a simple 360 camera. And the prices on those have come way down. But I think in construction sites, mostly, you can use the drone to do these virtual tours as well. All right, everyone, have an awesome start to the week. And maybe we'll see you again soon this week when we get some more topics going. Don't forget, next week I'll be doing another construction progression. And we'll be walking through that construction progression together on the steps that I take while I'm on the location.